coaches and tell you it's not important, but you're ready for this. North Carolina is 21 and one in NCAA tournament action in the state of Carolina. And in 1982, as you look at Coach K, 1982 they won the national championship. They played in Charlotte and then Raleigh and then a young phenom freshman by the name of Michael the Magnificent <laughs> hit a miracle shot to lead them to the national title. Gerald Henderson up and over everybody. He's got such explosiveness. What a special venue this is. So unique, the fans right on top of you, the spirit. Deion Thompson from the baseline, follows his miss and is fouled. That's the big advantage North Carolina has, the ability to get on the glass. Foul on Henderson is first. A little one-on-one -on -one maneuver. His dad says, boy, I'm proud. I'll tell you one thing, his dad didn't have hops like that. <laughs> a few do. Now, here are a couple of things Roy Williams said about the whole Raleigh and Charlotte thing. He reminded us of that as the coach of Kansas. I think it was 95, he said. Yeah, it happened in 95. Yeah. I know what he's saying. They got beat in Kansas City. But City. you know what? what? I don't buy the fact that it doesn't matter. He down deep wants to stay in his state. I mean, come uh, on now. Who, got, uh, uh, look at this one guy. It's the newest iteration of Speedo guy. You, you never saw him with Speedo. You never no. saw him. No. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, you know what? Nobody needs to see either one of us. Speedo guy, you probably saw the story on game day or Sports Center earlier today. A guy from a few years ago disrupted Jackie Manuel shooting free throws, and apparently he has uh, passed the baton, so to speak, to a new Speedo guy. Aaron, what do you have? Dan, I got it's a no Speedo zone here in camera. In two Cameron, in 2004, Coach K, he put the kibosh, the Knicks say, if you will, on the Speedos, telling students no more of that. But there have been incidents. It was in 2005, Speedo guy's friend, well, he revealed himself. Actually, when UNC's Marvin Williams was trying to make some free throws, he missed them both, and UNC lost by one. Wow. The curse of the Speedo. Did you ever think as a coach you'd have to institute a no Speedo zone Speedo. in your home <laughs> Shire. They need Nelson. this one. They need this one. Singler with the offensive rebound. I think Nelson's trying too hard. I think Aaron's right. It's senior night, the emotion. I think he wants to do so well. Mom and dad in the house. Mom and dad here to see him perform. They did a great job raising a beautiful son. What did they tell Coach K when they came in the house to recruit him? He said, I, they've watched Amica and they've and watched Dawkins. Dawkins yeah. And we want our son to be like him, but like them as people. Ten-point lead for Carolina. Duke just one of eight from three-point range. Again, they were 13 out of 29 in the first game. Not getting open looks on the three. Three misses, and it is out of bounds to Duke. And we'd like to apologize for the gestures that the new Speedo guy made here tonight. He didn't do it in the same uh, manner as the old guy did the old guy was doing it for fun this guy was taking it to another extreme and we apologize to those who may have been offended by what you saw Nolan Smith no shooting. rebound Thompson Thompson's hey, getting some big minutes here tonight they're shooting the ball too quickly Duke's not patient enough out of bounds to Carolina Danny Green is back in despite two fouls he's got a game high 10 points here tonight a monster inside he's an absolute monster he really knows how to convert to protect the ball to get to the foul line six points six rebounds for Hansbrough David McClure is in for Duke another missed three this one by Nelson again Zubak and Hansbrough comes down with his seventh rebound he's gonna hit for another double double tonight Tyler Lawson Ellington Zubak with a block out of bounds to Carolina. Zubek with injuries in the offseason. Again, missed nine games this year with a broken foot. Perhaps has not been able to come as far as they would like, but he's the biggest guy by far that Duke has. And Ellington fouled by Shire. Tell you one thing, they're doing well. They're playing better defensively in their half court game, and North Carolina executing in their half court game is getting a lot of movement without the basketball. Duke is shooting, Dick. 
22 percent tonight. Now Carolina's only shooting 38, but that's enough for a 12-point lead. Well, that's because of the defense by North Carolina. Roy Williams, a member of my old GQ team. I mean, he could flat out dress. Lawson out. Thomas back in. Ellington to the line. But GQ's going to post my GQ coaching stars. Would you have a top 10 or a yeah. final four? Would you? Have? Yeah, I got them all. Ellington, the sharpshooter, 16 points per game, a sophomore. And the guy more adept at scoring off the bounce this year than he was a year ago. Not just an outside shooter looking to make amends for a poor shooting night against Duke a month ago. Well, John Shire's got to get going. He's only got four tonight. At 26 here last year at 17 in game one when they beat North Carolina. See, they're really coming out on the defense. They're really trying to pressure the three-point shooters. Halls for three. You know, and that was a tough three. I mean, he had a hand right in his face. What a family. Brother goes to North Carolina, might be the quarterback. Three other brothers went to Georgetown. Paul is a 43% shooter from beyond the arc and handling the ball much better this year than he did a year ago. Well, you know, Dan, the way they shoot the three, they can get back in the game quickly. And another guy, Dick, sometimes players are hurt. Sometimes they play through an injury. Paulus was not right last year. Had off-season foot surgery. Healthier this year and having his best season. Oh, he's having a terrific year. And they got such weapons shooting the three that they can get back in the game quickly. But if they're to win, Demarcus Nelson has to start giving them some point production. He's their leading scorer, averaging 15 a game. And it is senior night for Demarcus Nelson. Always an emotional experience. McClure with a block. He's the... He's the guts and glue blue collar guy of this Duke team. Yeah, he is a blue collar guy. He's battled a lot of injuries. You look at the two clubs here. The Queen of only five losses. Playing tough competition. They take everybody's best hit. And the other thing that makes these two teams special, you never hear about NCAA violations. Hansbro the miss. McClure the rebound. Numbers for Duke. Paul is wide right open. What a terrific job of executing. They ran, they fanned out to the three-point line. Carolina didn't find the three-point shooter. See that three-point shot? That'll get you back in the game, Dan. What enthusiasm and energy and excitement to freeze out of that crowd. It is amazing. Green shut off on the baseline. Shot clock at 10. You have to be here to feel this. In and out for Thompson. Loose ball to Duke. This is a special place. It really is. Yeah. We were in a special place last week as well. Rock Chalk, Jay Hawk, who, by the way, they're one of my choices to go to the Final Four. I like that Kansas team. I like their athleticism. I like their perimeter play. Got a win at Texas A&M earlier today. If Texas wins tomorrow, they'll share the regular season crown of the Big 12 as Paulus's two threes have gotten Duke closer in this game. Well, single digits now, Danny. Singler struggling, picks it up. Now sets a screen. Shire couldn't get the shot off. The dump down for Singler. Uh off the glass. Came out of Oregon like Kevin Love did. Danny Green, he's got a dozen, Dick. He's been real magical tonight. He had one for ten in that first matchup. And the lead back to eight for Carolina. 3.20 to go in the first half. And there's Duke trying to spread the court. Excellent spacing. Trying to make it difficult for you to give help. Paul is again. How's he feeling it? He was feeling it. I tell you, this kid was also USA Today's player of the year in football as a quarterback. He's a tough competitor. David Cutcliffe might want to get him. Ellington with the answer at the other end for the heels. Well, Ellington and Green have responded tonight. They didn't respond in game one. They were four for 24. Hansbrough on a switch on Paulus, a deep three. And Green rips down the rebound in traffic. Four on one. What a great job. What a terrific job in transition. I mean, you couldn't plan that any better as a coach. They won their fast break drills. Not any better than that. 
give and go, the simplest play in the game. Mr. Schulman, you to give a, it and I go. Up to a 10-point lead now for Carolina, playing Roy Williams basketball on that trip. Run, baby, run. That's Roy style. Knocked away. McClure gives it away to Green. Carolina again. He left the run, baby. I think about a timeout. I think about a T.O., Coach K. They're a terrific in transition. This North Carolina team is going to be such a tough outcome tournament time. Duke is lucky that Greg Paulus has found the range. He's got three threes, but they're still down a dozen. Hoops live anytime, anywhere. Download the app or visit watchespn.com. So clutch. Now the crowd keeping its energy here inside Cameron Indoor Stadium, but North Carolina, after a barrage of threes from Greg Paulus, in transition to getting the lead back up to 12. You're used to seeing Duke be the team that closes out the first half. Dick with doing a great job. Green off the bench has been sparkling. And Singler is pushed. It'll be Hansbro with the foul, his first. And a timeout on the floor with a minute 52 to go here in the first half. Battles inside and out. ACC regular season supremacy on the line tonight in Durham. Now, so many great players in this rivalry. College basketball royalty, I think, as Jay Billis said on game day earlier tonight. Christian Leitner is here. Jason Williams is here. Hey, Jay Billis and Hubert Davis are here. They yeah. played some pretty special games between these two schools. Jason, Williams. Jason Williams. Chris Duhon beside him. I'll tell you one thing. Jason was such a special player. What I like about him, he hasn't whined and cried. Had some adversity, as we know. His career came to an end. Made a bad decision on a motorcycle. He's sitting next to Carl Liebert. Played at the Naval Academy. He's now the chairman of the board at 24 Hours Fitness. And Jason works for them. By the way, Carl Liebert. Gave me great news. Put two tables for our big event for the V Foundation. Hansbro. Zubek goes down. Hansbro lays it in. They are flying all over the place right now. Hansbro's up to eight points. Paulus again. Can't leave him wide open. I'll tell you what, sir. He has great work ethic. If you ever watch him before a game, yep. His pre-practice routine is unbelievable. I say pre-practice, it's before the practice with the players. He comes out. First guy out today by about half an hour. Four threes already for Paulus. He had six in the win over Carolina last month. They're going to try to put a sandwich on him, a double up. Put up his dribble. Will Graves has checked in for Carolina. Nice and, and a foul is Ooh. called by Ted Valentine. Number three on Zubek. Number three on the big guy. He's going to have to come out. As well as North Carolina has played on the defensive side and the way they're executing, if Duke can go in at halftime under 10, I think they got to feel pretty good about themselves. Paulus getting his instructions from Mike Krzyzewski. Deion Thompson at the line and misses the first. Coming up on the UPS Halftime Report with Reese Davis, Hubert Davis, Digger Phelps, and Jay Billis. Another amazing comeback for UCLA. It went down to the wire between Louisville and Georgetown for the Big East regular season title. And three more tickets get punched to the dance here today. Great action around college basketball all day. And now into the evening. Carolina up nine after two free throw misses by Deion Thompson. Tell you what's big. Demarcus Nelson has not scored. He's their leading scorer. Shire you, has it rejected. Dick by Graves. You can't underemphasize how important that is when your leading scorer, your senior, who's got to give you leadership, has not scored here in the first half. Ellington caught in the corner, finds a wide open Lawson. He's so strong with basketball. Lawson, they say he's playing at 80 percent. He looks pretty good to me tonight. <laughs> Duke can hold for the final shot down 11. He looks pretty good. He yeah. looks almost as good as you said. <laughs> well, Coach Williams told us he's only practiced about four times in the last five weeks, but 80 percent of Ty Lawson is better than 100 percent of most. 
Roy Williams, what a job he did in Kansas. Averaged 27 wins a year for 14 years. Thompson swats away the Nelson attempt. Three seconds left. Tough to win when your star isn't going to put any points on the board for you. You saw that with Ellington in game one. You're seeing it here in game two with Demarcus Nelson. Ted Valentine's going to get in between Nelson and Hansborough and give each of them a warning. People don't realize sometimes the unbelievable emotional burden, players, referees. I told you earlier, Ted Valentine's brother battling cancer. He said, please say hello to him. We say hello, Henry. Singler. And the first half comes to a close. The lowest scoring first half for Duke this season. Carolina hits its last six shots. They lead by 11, the biggest halftime deficit the Blue Devils have faced this year. Well, they certainly have not been one-dimensional. North Carolina had a lot of balance offensively. Great production off the bench by Green. And they did a solid job defensively in shutting down Demarcus Nelson. Duke won at Carolina a month ago. Carolina trying to avenge that defeat with a win here at raucous Cameron Indoor Stadium on Demarcus Nelson senior night. They're up 11 and a half. Roy Williams is with Aaron Andrews. Well, Coach Greg Paulus, four three-pointers. What adjustment he made on him in the second? Well, we've got to find him a lot. The one time we didn't get picked up on the break, break and the other time he's behind the screen. But he is having a great night, too. But we've got, we can't let him four threes in one half. But the good news, what are you doing on Demarcus Nelson? He's scoreless so far in the first. Well, it's senior night. We had game. We know that, so we just got to make sure. It's Coach, thank you. At the half, Danny Green, 14 points. Tyler Hansbro, 8 points, 8 rebounds. Carolina leading by 11. Well, really vital, especially for Duke. I'll tell you, this first half can be summarized very simple. When you're two star of stars, when you look at Nelson and Singler, they go 1 for 10. That's the reason you're down double digits. Duke also turned it over 10 times, and Carolina turned those 10 turnovers into 12 points at the other end. Dan, I can't emphasize enough. When you shut down the top two scorers on a team, yeah. and they go 1 for 10, tough to win. Thomas follows his own miss and is foul. Lance Thomas had a big game in game one at double digits, but a solid job defensively. Time now for tonight's Columbia Sportswear game track. Carolina out shooting Duke. Duke got hot with threes near the end of the half thanks to Greg Paulus. Transition points, points off turnovers, all favoring Carolina, whose big guy Tyler Hansbro just picked up his second foul. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Dan, and speaking with Duke assistant coach Chris Collins, he felt poise was a huge issue, particularly in the beginning of the game. He felt the team was very wild, led to fast breaks. He said there was so much emotion, but this team needs to settle down, play possession by possession. This is something Greg Paulus said happens in a game like this, as you can imagine. I tell you, they can talk all the strategy they want. Any way you cut it, when your one, two scorers don't score, how are you going to win? They're two guys they have to have on a board. How about Quentin Thomas with a beautiful feed to Deion Thompson? He's been a real great store. He's a kid who's really struggled. By the time he arrived on the campus, he's battled himself. People have moved him out and coming into the school, but he's really done a solid job of giving an opportunity. Splitting time right now with Ty Lawson, who's in his third game back from the ankle injury. Roy Williams can't say enough positives about it. Gerald Henderson for three. Duke lives by that three. They'll live by that three, but they'll also go down by the three. Yeah. Double team on Hansbro. He forces it up. And the fouls against Ginyard of Carolina. Number three on Marcus Ginyard. Ginyard, a solid defensive player. We're going to see the kick out for the three. There's the kick out. You drive to kick it out, and Henderson knocks it down. Henderson's second three of the game. Ginyard, a very important player for the Tar Heels, not necessarily offensively, but probably their best overall defender. Well, G squared. You took about Ginyard, you took about Green. Don't get a lot of publicity, but they're very valuable. Singler's three, not there. The tap is good for Nelson, who's wow. on the board. Nelson gets finally in the book. Senior night. The stars got to arise. Cameron Crazies is certainly rising. Krzyzewskiville full of tents for who knows how long. Trying to get in line for seats to this game despite huge wins in the area today. Not a pleasant day to be outside. That was unbelievable on a tip right there. If that would have been a... I mean, Duke's got a little bounce to their step right here. Lance Thomas. Oh, did they have opportunities on that trip? I'll tell you one thing. They've done a good job on a glass. They've played Carolina even on the boards. 
Nice find. Ginyard wide open from the wing. Rebound Henderson. Don't let Ginyard shoot that shot. Duke will allow him to shoot it. Nelson. Thomas. Block from behind. Deion Thompson with a block. And for Carolina, that is six now in the game. The right people not touching the ball and shooting the ball for Duke. You got to get it into your key options. They get seven blocks tonight now for Carolina. Here comes Shire. Here comes Zubek. Changes for Carolina as well as Lawson is into the game. Two solid goal Hall of Famers go to Springfield Mass. And you can see both. Yep. Roy Williams, Mike Krzyzewski. Mike Krzyzewski with three national championships. Roy Williams won with Carolina, of course, three years ago. Both mentored by two superstars, Dean Smith and certainly Robert Montgomery Knight. Lawson to Hansbro. 12-footer, yes. He's done a better job learning how to make that face-up jump shot. Double-double for Hansbro. 10 points, 11 rebounds. His brother Ben now playing for Mississippi State. Team that'll be in the NCAA big dance. Paulus all the way to the rim. And it's. I tell you, you can say what you want. Craig Paulus took a lot of heat last year, a lot of criticism. How could you criticize a kid that plays as hard and competes as hard as he does? That's just pure envy, man. This kid is a winner. This kid can play for me any day of the week. His comes first two-pointer of the night, 14 points in the game. He just comes to play. Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you this this year, Mr. Schumann. I want you to listen to this. I think Tom O'Connor and the committee have one of their toughest jobs. No, the toughest job of any committee. We have more teams on the bubble. Yeah. There's so many bubbles out there. Bubble this, bubble that. <laughs> Everybody's on the bubble. I'll tell you what, the, all those bubble teams are hoping and praying that the Drakes don't lose, the Davidsons don't lose in their tournament. Today, teams like USC, West Virginia, Syracuse all got critical wins for their chances. Well, USC is in. They're a lock city. O.J. Mayo was brilliant the last couple games. Play on. Ginyard on the penetration over Zubek. Hansbrough blocked by Shire. Shire did a great job holding court. He didn't allow himself to go up in the air. They're getting out on Paulus now. Hansbrough stuck on him. This is not what Carolina wants. This new team's not going away, man. This crowd will not allow them to go away. Now the switch. Zubek and Hansbrough battling in the paint. Paulus, the floater. They're paddling on glass. Zubek. I thought Zubek's giving him some positive minutes. Just his size alone. Seven feet, takes a lot of space inside. What a different story on the glass here in the second half for Duke. How could you not love college basketball watching this emotion and intensity? Hansbro's prayer Are is answered. Serious? That's a prayer for most guys, but that's a normal <laughs> shot for him. The only guy I saw make those kind of shots years and years ago before you were ever born, Nick the quick workman at Seton Hall, led the nation in scoring. Hans Bros has been well documented as relentless and hardworking as any player. Look at Zubin. Look at that. Look at Zubin. Yeah. They found the player. Oh, they found the player. Who said they don't have big people? They found the player, Danny Yes. I love this. Are you kidding? They're like a little kid sitting here. Three at the other end for Ellington. Carolina by seven. And that's what they need on Ray. They need that jumper. Three and double figures already. Hansbro, Green, and Ellington for the Tar Heels. I see that name, Ellington. I think it'll Duke, the father of Jazz. <laughs> Let's go Devils, the chant here at Cameron. Nelson driving on Green. That's what they need out of DeMarcus. That's leadership. Performance is leadership. Leadership's not all about being verbal and verbose. It's about demonstrating your ability, performing. Singler cannot come up with it. It's going to be Duke ball, says Ted Valentine. I tell you, the Mannings love this. The Mannings love this hustle. The Mannings are in the house. See a live paint in. The Cameron Crazies are in the house. Van Schumann's in the house. Media people, Dick Weiss, Kelly Whiteside, everybody's here. Right.
it's still Duke, North Carolina, and that's, that's as big as it gets in college basketball. Duke and North Carolina are different. It's classic, you know, you have classic battles. It's the biggest rivalry in college basketball. To go over there and win the ACC and on their senior night, um, you know, it's something that we're definitely looking forward to and we're all excited about. Yeah, there's a lot at stake here. What most feel is the greatest rivalry in college basketball. This has been the best decade ever for Duke in this rivalry against Carolina. And this is just the fourth time, Dick, in the 55-year history of the ACC where the two teams come into the game knowing that the winner outright wins the regular season title. I'll tell you, somebody got into the mind of Nelson. Unbelievable drive to the goal. Like Patrick and I have sat here for about 40 of these, yeah. like Mr. Yeah. ACC. Nelson with six all in the second half. How about this? Duke out rebounding Carolina 13 to 5 in the second half. Nelson again has it taken away by Lawson. Here's where Lawson excels. Look at that pass right on the money. Danny Green. Terrific pass. Lawson got it. He is such a talented player. Basketball on a collegiate level starts at point guard play. If you don't have great point guard play, you're not winning on a collegiate level. And not easy for Roy Williams to be kind of reinserting Washington back into the rotation. Now up to about 20 minutes a game, but they'll take what they can get. Nelson wide open. He's had such a solid senior campaign. An all ACC performer. Carolina by five off the screen here comes Ellington soft touch. He's really asserting himself He's shooting more in rhythm than he did in game one He had 36 and a big one over Clemson two heartbreaking losses for Clemson against North Carolina Mike Krzyzewski will call a timeout with his team down seven just about seven minutes into the second half here at Cameron February 23rd at noon Eastern on ESPN. Dickie V here tonight, a seven-point lead for Carolina over Duke Saturday primetime presented by Direct TV. Other than sweating off about 10 well, pounds tonight, you having fun? I'm having lots of fun. Hey, Matthew's in the house tonight, huh? Matthew McConaughey. Yes, sir. And there. they all say he's the sexiest guy in Hollywood. What's he got on me? I did an appearance with him one time, and I'm telling look at Matthew. Is he better looking at me? Take a look at me, ladies. Come on. You know you got to eat your heart out when you look at my beautiful body. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on. I think you've got Come a heat on. stroke up here. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I did an appearance for Walmart with him, and it was unbelievable how the ladies were screaming for joy when he arrived. Henderson, and a good recovery by Danny Green, who's having a whale of a night. Green running the floor at the other end. The trailer is Hansbro, the 17 footer not there. Rebound Nelson. Hansbro with 12 points and 13 rebounds tonight. They need single. They got it. Singler and Nelson have come back, and the Dukies are back in his big game. Hey, remember this. If Duke wins, they sweep. In the last 10 years, that would be six sweeps if Duke were to win. Ellington for three. Thompson with a save. And Hansborough looks for help. Duke playing much better here in the second half than they did in the first. They have cut into the lead. Lawson. Got it. I tell you, Lawson's been brilliant off the bench. Lawson and Green have really sparkling off the bench. Shire, a pull up three. They need Shire's jumper as well. He's been quiet. He had 17 in the first matchup. Shire, Singler, Nelson, Paulus, all can shoot threes. Listen to this place. Unless you've ever been here, my friends, you can't appreciate it. If you're a big basketball fan, try to get here one time. Carolina trying to spoil senior night here, but Duke making a run. A couple of years ago, it was senior night for J.J. Redick and Sheldon Williams, but a freshman named Tyler Hansbro would have none of that. Senior night's going to be spoiled by their arch rivals at Chapel Hill.
I'll tell you one thing, Randy Peel's taking Winthrop to the tournament. Jenkins hit six big threes four years in a row for Winthrop. Nelson was looking for the jam. Lost